We have very good news from Tesla Giga Texas. I'm showing you images that show how Tesla Giga Texas is gaining ground in 4680 battery production. Friends, in recent aerial photographs taken at the Gigafactory Texas complex, suggest that Tesla is gaining some really good ground in its efforts to ramp the production of 4680 structural battery packs for its best-selling all-electric crossover Model Y. Shared by a friend Giga Texas observer and drone operator Joe Techmeyer, these images show a large number of 4680 structural battery packs being stored on one of Giga Texas upper floors. And there are some telltale signs that the batteries photographed at Giga Texas were 4680 structural packs. Immediately noticeable from the images was the presence of seat mounting frames on the battery pack themselves. And I'm going to tell you all about this, but please, I ask you that if you find this information useful, please like this video. You will help to put it in front of more people and speed up the electric transition, electric vehicle transition. Anyway, welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. So during the quarter two 2022 earnings call, Elon Musk was quick to note that Tesla is not dependent on its 46AD battery cells yet. Yet. Model Ys are being produced in Texas, but only some of them are equipped with 46AD structural battery packs. Those that are not equipped with 46AD batteries are fitted with the company's 2170 cells, similar to the Model Y produced in the Fremont factory. And we have reported before and Tesla has said before that whether your car is fitted with 2170 battery cells or 4680 battery cells, it will meet the same range and power standards, quality standards of Tesla. You will have the same quality and durable Tesla vehicle, whether it's Model 3 or Model Y. Now, recent aerial photographs taken at Tesla Giga Texas Giga Factory suggest that Tesla is gaining some really good ground in its efforts to ramp the production of 46AD structural battery packs for its best-selling electric vehicle, all-electric electric crossover Model Y. Shared by Giga Texas observer and drone operator Joe Techmeyer, the images showed a large number of 4680 structural battery packs being stored on one of Giga Texas' upper floors. There are some telltale signs that you can see that the batteries photographed at Giga Texas were 4680 structural packs. Immediately noticeable from their images was the presence of uh, seat mounting frames on the battery packs themselves. These seat mounting frames are where the Texas made Model Y seats are directly installed as featured and confirmed by Monroe and Associates Teardown. The images of the 4680 structural packs at Giga Texas inspired a number of speculations from the EV community, uh, some of whom suggested that the battery packs were likely being assembled in the facility at Giga Texas. This speculation makes quite a bit of sense, uh, says Simon Alvarez at Tesla Radi, uh, saying as Tesla's pilot production planned for its next generation cells at Cato Road in Fremont, California, which is just blocks away from the Fremont factory of Tesla's, appears to be focused on producing 4680 cells, not the whole structural battery pack. The sighting of the structural battery pack at Giga Texas bodes well for Tesla's 46AD ramp, says Simon Alvarez from Tesla Radi. He says Tesla has been pretty understated with the progress of its 46AD battery program, with Elon Musk and other Tesla executives simply noting that the next generation cells will be relevant in the coming years. So still, it's quite exciting and encouraging to see the battery packs filling up some portions of Giga Texas today. So we should wait for a couple of more years until the next generation bat cells, battery cells will, and what does the next generation battery cell means, I don't know, will be relevant. So friends, what do you expect from the next generation battery cells? Double the range or 50% more range on average compared to today's average range? More power, faster charging, fa more durability, let me know, what do you think next generation battery for electric cars should be? Anyway, Tesla's structural battery packs are a key component of the company's next generation vehicle design, together with the, the use of mega casts 
Structural batteries allow Tesla's electric vehicles to use their batteries as a structural component. This, at least according to Tesla, optimizes production costs and makes vehicles even safer. I'm going to have the link of Joe's entire video in the description of this video, friends, so you can see it if you would like to hear uh, see more. Now, th this must be very strong floors, you know, at Giga Texas that would want to walk under that and hold that heaviness of those old structural packs. Right, we have some other interesting news from Giga Texas, which we learned a couple of days ago. It appears that Tesla Gigafactory Texas paint shop is ramping well as well. As per recent aerial footage of the complex, it appears that white Tesla Model Y units are starting to populate Giga Texas holding lots. Gigafactory Texas is the company's newest vehicle production facility, and it is also expected to be one of the most efficient. In the quarter to 2022 earnings called CEO Elon Musk estimated that Giga Texas should be able to produce 1,000 Model Y electric vehicles per week in a couple of months. The 1,000 vehicle per week milestone was achieved a few days ago, just a month since Musk made his estimate. As you probably have heard me this morning and in the past couple of days, in the meantime, Tesla's Giga Berlin factory has already reached 2,000 vehicles um, per week production close to 2,000, 1,800, 1,900, and who knows, by the time of this reporting, it may be already 2,000 vehicles. After they went cold turkey, stopped all the processes for two weeks, stopped the entire production for two weeks, making those drastic changes, and improving the speed of production at each workstation. This is why when last week a lot of uh, a group of uh, investors and financial analysts visited Tesla Giga Berlin, they took the Model Y to test drive on the German Autobahn, spoke about the, how luxury the interior quality is of the Model Y and so on. They said that now we think that Tesla Giga Tech Berlin is some stations are ready to make 10,000 Model Ys per week, which is the expected capacity of Giga Berlin. Berlin. Now, considering that Giga Texas was already able to achieve an output of 1,000 Model Ys per week, it would appear that the facility's production ramp is ahead of schedule, at least to a point. This bodes well for Giga Texas as a whole. The fact that uh, while Tesla Model Y units are now being produced also suggests that the facility is coming into its own which is really good news. Now, Tesla's color options for its vehicle lineup are limited for now, with customers only choosing between five possible paint selections. Elon Musk has hinted uh, that Elon Musk has, I'm sorry for that phone call. So Elon Musk has hinted in the past, however, that new facilities such as Gigafactory Berlin would be equipped with a revolutionary new paint shop that should pave the way for more compelling color selections for the company's vehicles. Considering that Giga Texas is Tesla's newest vehicle production facility today, its paint shop is likely just as advanced as we're hoping the paint shop at Giga Berlin because Tesla's uh, CEO Elon Musk has said that Giga Berlin's paint shop will be the best in the world. So lots of good news, friends, especially I'm excited about the 4680 batteries. The more Tesla moves on with the 4680 batteries, the more next generation batteries for electric vehicles with better range, more power density, uh, faster charge more durability with more cycles remember the million mile battery that we have been reporting a while back those will become reality in the meantime this is armin harian please like this video if you found the information helpful you will help to put this in front of more people once once you like the video because google likes the interaction and uh, as we put this video in front of more people more people will hear about electric cars tesla new batteries and possibly uh, consider one and uh, you will help to speed up the transition to electric vehicle adoption. Have a great day. I'll look forward to hearing your comments and thoughts in the next uh, in the comment section, like specifically what do you think next generation batteries should be for electric cars, their capacity and so on. Uh, this is Armin Haryan. Have a great day. See you soon in our next report. God bless you everyone.